This is Thursday, October 13th. Hard to believe we're almost halfway through the month of October already, and we are only just about a week away from quarter number one being completed here in the Eagle's Nest. And so we are well on our way to doing great things, but we got to finish our week strong here in the Eagle's Nest. And I'm going to give you a couple of ways that you can do that today. And hopefully the sun is going to start shining here in uh, just a little bit. I think that rain's going to go away. So hopefully we can get some recess time in today. And what's some great news, man? Got some new mulch on the playground, which is fantastic. So the playground is going to be a lot of fun to play on. Got some nice soft mulch now. It's going to be great, you know. So you probably won't even recognize it, but I, I geek out about good mulch, I'll tell you. So it's going to be a great day in the Eagles Nest today. Let's make sure that we are listening up on morning announcements this morning, scholars. We are locked in. So we are not having any side conversations right now, and we are finishing our breakfast, and we are locked into Mr. Hagee this morning as we are finishing up our unit on getting back to the basics. The book fair is happening right now in the media center, so a lot of you have had a chance to go through there. Of course, you've already previewed it, but now some of you are buying some things, uh, which is fantastic, so you can continue to do that all the way up until tomorrow. And also, we've got some field trips that are coming up starting next week. So just as a reminder, you might want to finish your day strong today. You might want to finish your week strong tomorrow and have a good week next week, right? So that you can be able to go on those field trips, right? We want to make sure that you are representing Fairview everywhere you go. And when you go on field trips, we'll talk about that next week on morning announcements, right? That is a great way for you to show off Fairview and show off scholars and what you do here in the Eagle's Nest each and every day. But I've got to be able to trust you to go and do that. So making sure that you're following the Fairview 5 here, which, boom, there it is, right? The Fairview 5 is right in front of you. It's not just something that we talk about. It's something that we do every single day. And here's our thing, right? We recite this every single day. We don't talk about it on announcements just to have a filler and something to do. We talk about it because this is what holds us together here in the Eagle's Nest, right? So number one, we're actively listening to the speaker. Number two, we're keeping our hands and feet to ourselves. Number three, we're cleaning up our area. Number four, we're being kind to others with our words and actions. And number five, we are doing our best. One way that you can do your best, get some more Class Dojo points, right? Class Dojo stores on October 27th. Got to have 100 points for that. Last week, or excuse me, at the beginning of this week, we started our new word, which was gathered, G-A-T-H-E-R-E-D. And we talked about that that means to bring together and take in from a source or different places. And so the picture I showed you was um, two young ladies gathering up plastic to recycle, right? Gathering up litter that had been outside to bag that and turn that into the proper place. So they were gathering that. And I showed you that, hey, there's a couple of other ways that you can use it as well. Let me get out of the way so that you can see this morning, right? So here's a couple of different ways that you can use the word gather or gathered in a sentence. Mr. Benjamin gathered all of the instruments together so each scholar could choose one to play. So gathered means he put them all in the center of the room and told which scholars, hey, grab this instrument, this instrument, this instrument. How about this one? During recess, scholar gathered around Kingston as he told a story. Kingston's a great storyteller. And so therefore, gathering around means that, that you are coming together to hear something. Or how about this one? All scholars will gather in the gym in November for our first quarter SOAR awards. That's a true sentence. That's going to happen in November. More information to come on that, but that's when you gather together, right? That's when we come together, we gather to um, either eat together, to do awards together, right? And so there's multiple ways that you can use this word in a sentence. And so I wanted to show you a couple of those today here on Morning Announcements. We'll have a new word next week. But first off, let's start back with the basics. Here's our unit questions for this uh, unit, which will end next week, right? What kind of scholar do you want to be each day? What do you hope that teachers are saying about you? And how are you going to get better each and every day? We talked about Kobe Bryant. He never gets bored with the basics. Showing up each day is one of them. If you are watching announcements right now, you are already winning the day because you are here on time. We showed two scholars that are always here on time. Right. Also being organized. We saw Allison and Ashley's stuff 
And um, once again, yesterday when I went into multiple classrooms across the Eagle's Nest, I saw a lot of great organized things. So good stuff with that. You got to keep it up. Right, being voice level zero in the hallways. Yesterday we talked about actively listening to the speaker, right? And I was uh, talking to a scholar about what are the ways that you can do that, and he recited all of these to me yesterday, right? So that being that whole body listener, not only with my eyes, but with my ears, my mouth, my shoulders facing my teacher, my brain is thinking, my feet are calm, my hands are still. So try that today, being a whole body listener. And then today, being back to the basics, right? A basic thing that you can do every single day, whether you're five years old or whether you're 55 years old, you can be kind. And being kind is something, it does not matter what position you're in, you can be kind every single day, right? Regardless of the grade, um, regardless of your age. And what being kind does and showing kindness, what it is, is the quality of being friendly and the word courteous to someone else. So you probably hear a lot of times, hey, be kind, be kind, be kind, be kind to others, be kind to others. Well, today I want to give you seven quick ways that you can be kind today in the eagle's nest and every day in the eagle's nest, right? So here's one. You can hold the door open for somebody, right? That is a very quick way to be kind to someone else, to let someone else go in front of you. You can tell your teacher today how much you appreciate them. That's a kind thing to do. You can say something nice to your friends today. That's always a kind thing to do. You can lead by example, meaning if everybody around you is talking, but you're locked into your teacher, you're leading by example, right? You are doing what is right. Hey, how about simply smiling at others, smiling at each other and meaning it? It's contagious, man. When you smile at other people, it's contagious. You can help pick up trash if you see it in the school. You could give someone a compliment. So I just rattled off just seven quick ways today. Some of you could do all seven of these today. And these are ways to be kind to others. Now, when you're doing these things for others, you want to do it with a happy heart as well, meaning that you're not just doing it to fake it. You're doing it because you really mean it. Like, hey, I want to hold the door open for you because I want you to go first today. Or, hey, I just want to tell you uh, that you're a great teacher and I love being in your class, right? So these are different ways that you can be kind to others each and every day in the Eagle's Nest as we continue to get back to the basics. All right, so I'm excited about something here. It's 736. We haven't done this in about three weeks. So I think it's time for a little music challenge today for our staff and scholars. Of course, you can play along as well. If you know what the song is, you might want to tell your teacher so that your teacher can call in. So I'm looking for caller number five today to call extension 1110. Once you know what the song is, and we will do it live on morning announcements here and right now. How about right now? So I'm going to mute my microphone and then I'm going to turn around and go over the loudspeaker and I'm going to play the intro of a song. And I'm going to tell you this, staff, you got to tell me, you got to be able to tell me the artist and the song title for the prize today. I'm still working on what the prize is going to be, but it's going to be good. Come on now. You know, we give good prizes here uh, in the Eagles Nest. I'm looking at my desk to see what I could give away this morning, but I'll find something even better than that. All right. So we're ready to play this morning. Don't put it in the chat box. You got to call extension 1110 and you got to be caller number five this morning. So let me go ahead and play that song for you right now. All right, so the phone calls are coming in, so we're going to start live here on morning announcements. We're looking for caller number five live on announcements. Good morning, your caller number one. Sorry. All right, that was caller number one. Don't know who you were, but I'm sorry about that, that I had to do that to you. Hey, good morning, your caller number two. Keep calling. All right, here comes caller number three. They're going to be mad at me, I promise. Hey, good morning. I'm sorry, your caller number three. 
All right, here we go. Caller number four. They're going to be the maddest at me, I can promise. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're caller number four. See, if I hang the phone up fast enough, scholars, they can't be mad at me. Here comes the winner. Let's see who it is live on morning announcements. Hey, good morning. You're caller number five. Who is this? Oh, Miss Devane. All right, Miss Devane. Who do you think it is this morning? Who is the artist and what is the song? Survivor by Destiny's Child. You are correct. I'll bring a prize down to you later today. Congratulations, Miss Devane. You are so welcome. That is awesome. Good stuff this morning. Uh, as the calls keep coming in, caller six, I'm so sorry. Hey, good job, Mr. Vane, this morning. Hey, notice all I had to do was just play 14 seconds of that song. You probably knew that song. A lot of our staff probably knew that within the first note that was played. So good stuff with that this morning, Mr. Vane. I'll bring down a prize to you a little bit later. Hey, scholars, let's make sure that we are doing everything we can to become a scholar of the week. It's going to be a great week as we finish out the Eagle's Nest uh, in the Eagle's Nest today and tomorrow. So let's make sure that we have a fantastic day. I'm personally looking forward to seeing you in action today, scholars all across the building. And I challenge you to be kind today and every day as we get back to the basics and do great things in the Eagle's Nest. Have a fantastic Thursday.